Today's topic is about enzyme substrate complex theory. So in this video, we will look about the various theory which is explaining this enzyme substrate complex and how exactly enzyme is working over the substrate to make a product. So first that is Michaelis Menten theory and that is very popular and widely accepted theory for this enzyme substrate complex theory. The enzyme combines with the substrate to form an enzyme substrate complex which immediately breaks down to the enzyme and the product means with the help of enzyme substrate is converted into the product but as per this theory we will look in detail so first what happened enzyme is combined over the substrate so es complex is generated now this es complex once generated that enzyme is converting this substrate into the product so that is second step so exactly substrate is converted into the product but there is a two step reaction first step es complex is generated second step product is generated from that es complex so e plus s that is enzyme plus substrate making es complex and this reaction is considered as reversible so enzyme plus substrate sometime even that after combining with the enzyme substrate can be reverted back so that is reversible first step second step that is called as irreversible es complex sometime or major body time that enzyme same enzyme is not able to convert this product into again substrate so once there is a product is generated from the substrate this reaction is become irreversible so you have to remember step 1 that is reversible step 2 that is irreversible as per that michaelis menten theory now here it is same thing is explained by this hydrolysis of sucrose by the sucrase enzyme so basically sucrase that is enzyme sucrose that is disaccharide that is made up of glucose plus fructose so first enzyme plus substrate combined means sucrase sucrose will combine from this complex that sucrose can again re separated from the enzyme but once the it is sucrase that is converting this sucrose into the glucose and fructose that same enzyme is not able to reconvert sucrose for reconvert glucose and fructose into the sucrose molecule so it is a irreversible so same thing is again explaining in this picture sucrase that is attached over the sucrose which is disaccharide made up of glucose and fructose so this complex is generated that is called es complex and from that es complex finally product that is glucose and fructose is generated so that is about michaelis menten theory second theory for this enzyme substrate complex that is fischer template theory and as per this theory it state that the three dimensional structure of the active site of the enzyme is complementary to the substrate so as per this theory a structure of enzyme that is fixed and over that fixed structure of enzyme that particular substrate can attach other substrate is not able to attach so substrate fits on the enzyme similar to lock and key the lock can be opened by its own key only so same way we are knowing that different locks but that particular lock is opened by the particular key only so same way fischer explained a rigid structure for enzyme which could not explain the flexibility shown by the enzyme and that is very important many times what happen when there is a attachment of the substrate there is some structural or three dimensional structure all changes is occurring over the enzyme and that changes is not explained as per this theory but even though it is explaining a good thing about a particular substrate attachment over the enzyme so how it is explaining that also we will look so a particular enzyme that is considered a lock and that is that have a particular three dimensional structure so if a another type of or bad substrate that is present over the enzyme then this substrate is not able to convert into the product but a particular substrate which is form or which have a similar structure which have the capacity to attachment over the enzyme as per that three dimensional structure then only it will be converted into the product so it is explained as per the lock and key model or enzyme substrate complex so it is also known as a uh, fischer template theory otherwise lock and key theory one more that is coslin induced fit theory so conformational changes are occurring at the active site of enzyme concomitant with the combination of enzyme with the substrate as per this theory so as per coslin induced fit theory it is explaining some conformational or structural changes is occurring over the enzyme and you can simply remember as a gloves so initially gloves are totally folded but when you put your hand inside the gloves the gloves will gradually open up and completely fit over your hand so same way cosland is explaining this theory that is cosland induced fit once there is a attachment over the substrate gradually changes conformational changes will occur over the enzyme and finally that enzyme is completely able to attach over the substrate so at first substrate bind to a specific part of the enzyme this lead to the more secondary binding and conformational changes 
the substrate induces conformational changes in the enzyme such that precise orientation of catalytic group is achieved simple that active site or active center is easily able once there is the attachment of the substrate so that is costline induced fit theory so here explaining suppose there is a blue color that is enzyme a and b that is attached and making suppose that is a disaccharide molecule which is made up of the two monosaccharide unit a and b now once it is attached over the enzyme then what happen there is some structural changes is occurring over the enzyme so you can see that structural or conformational changes over the enzyme so initially a different conformation is there and second that once there is the attachment of the substrate then there is a conformational changes is occurring over the enzyme finally what happen after that conformational changes that changes is helping to break this or converting this substrate into the product so initially suppose that disaccharide or dimer unit then it is converted into the monomer units so that is about the how this cost are uh, Costline induced fit theory is explaining there is a conformational changes is occurring over the enzyme. So that three theory basically explaining how that enzyme substrate complex is working. Michaelis Menten theory, Costline induced fit theory, and Fisher template theory. Fisher template that is called a lock and key. And for the Costline induced fit theory, you can remember as a, a glows as an example. Furthermore, in this theory, you have to remember thermodynamic consideration. So the enzymatic reaction are divided into three types: exergonic or exothermic reaction. So here, enzyme energy is released from the reaction, and therefore, reaction essentially goes to the completion. Simple example that is urease enzyme. So what happens? Urea is converted into the ammonia plus carbon dioxide, and energy is released. And what happens generally at equilibrium of this reaction means simple when this enzyme is present, the substrate will be on. Only 0.5 percentage and product will be 99.5 percentage. So majority of the product will be present in the presence of enzyme. And these reactions are generally irreversible. Once there is a, in the presence of urea, urea is enzyme. Urea is converted into the ammonia and carbon dioxide. Same enzyme is not able to reconvert with the help of this substrate into uh, with the help of this product into the substrate. So it is. Irreversible reaction. Another type of reaction that is isothermic. Same as a name, iso means equilibrium. So when energy exchange is negligible and the reaction is easily reversible. So glycogen plus phosphate. So that is releasing glucose one phosphate. Same way glucose can be added over the glycogen molecule. But this during this reaction that is not exchange of such or much energy. So that is called a isothermic reaction. Same way endergonic or endothermic reaction. So here, energy is consumed and external energy is to be supplied for this reaction. So what happened? Glucose we have to convert into the glucose six phosphate. For that, ATP will be utilized and ATP is converted into the ADP. So one high energy bond from this ATP will be utilized in the presence of hexokinase enzyme. So that is called a exergonic, uh, endergonic or endothermic reaction. So these three theory you have to remember: exothermic. Isothermic and endothermic reaction for the explaining of the thermodynamic consideration of the enzyme.